Hey Dan, come to the door. We need to do a video. Uh, Sunday morning. Hey, hey Dan, we've got to get this barrel or car video filmed. Come, come on outside. We've got to get this done right now. I, I know it's Sunday, but we're on Jason time. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Dan Darnell from Rapido Trains Inc. And since Jordan was banging on my door the, today to show you the ore cars, I thought I'd bring them outside and give you a good view of them. We have the Ontario Northland short barrel ore cars, the CN short barrel ore car, and the CN long barrel ore car. O&R also had these, but we just don't have a sample right now. These cars were designed, I believe, in about 1966 and delivered to O&R and CN in about 1967-68. And then in 1973, 74, they both went back for the bigger version of the car. Uh, most of these cars survive today in secondary service. Most of the short cars have been turned into ballast hoppers and the long cars have been turned into cement service and other dry chemical powdered service. These cars are loaded with detail, including real rubber air hoses, see-through walkways, all the brake piping, and then underneath the car, we have all the ribbing and the slope sheets and all the different um, mechanical linkage to open the doors. Now, the doors are non-operating on these cars, but the detail is there and it's exquisite. The long cars have conventional braking. You can see the brake cylinders, the brake actuating rods, and the brake shoes on the trucks. Up top, you can see the cylinders and the triple valve with all the piping. On the short cars, there was no room to do all that. So basically, most of the brake rigging wound up on the deck of the car. And then underneath, the brake cylinders are actually on the trucks. So they're truck-mounted brakes. And we've done both versions of the car so that they're prototypically accurate. Again, on the CN car, the short one, truck-mounted brakes. Virtually, these two cars are identical. CN and O&R both ordered the same car. When they went to the long car, they did the same, they ordered them identical. You can't tell them apart other than paint. On the roof, we have the rubber tires that open and close the doors when loading at the Dane Mine and unloading at the bottom at uh, DeFasco Steel in Hamilton, Ontario. They come in uh, singles and six packs. The only one we're not showing here is the O&R yellow and blue car and the CN scale test car. Okay, for more prototypical information on the cars, please visit our website, repeatotrains.com and look up Bram Bailey's nice article on the masterclass of these cars. He gives a complete history of the cars and their operations if you want to know more. Okay, Jordan, time to go. Bye.